Throughout the ages, compassionate, enlightened masters have urged people to surrender to the greater universal power by seeking the divine within, from which all other goodness and happiness follow. Supreme Master Ching Hai often spoke of the teachings of past masters and answered the spiritual questions of fellow initiates during international gatherings or through tele and video conferences. On October 3, 2010, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly and graciously answered the questions of Supreme Master Television staff about the sun and other secrets of the universe. We now invite you to listen to part 4 of the 12-part series entitled Revelations on the Magnanimous Sun and the Universe, a video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai and Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. The fifth level beings are only there to give us spiritual benefit and upliftment and happiness. But unfortunately, we sometimes abuse it. We are not making ourselves worthy of all this help, you see? So we have all this violent atmosphere because of war, because of hatred, because of uh, mass murdering animals, etc., etc. Yes, and abusing the, the environment. Yes, I always tell, tell everybody, please pay more attention to moral standards. Please be more compassionate. Please be more virtuous, yeah? Love each other, peace, no war. No killing, vegan, that is to protect everybody. But do they listen? I'm not sure how many. Of course, many more are listening now, huh? Many more are listening. We air the stop cruelty for animals. Many millions of people stop eating meat because of that. Some permanently, some for all time. Okay? And some less, less meat. Okay. Now we just hope we continue uh, get better and better, otherwise, not just a flare, huh? There'll be more explosion, for example. Like what the Bible say, you know, the fire will come from the sky, and etc., etc., yeah? And destroy the planet and the people. I'm so sorry, I have to tell you the truth, but I'm worried. I think day and night, what more can I do to help the planet, to help the people to awaken to the more spiritual, and moral standard, I think day and night. And every time I can find some solution, for example, like the sun benefit, I tell you right away, or the spiritual blessing line. By the way, spiritual blessing line, we used to have tons of them, and they're all connected, you know? Then the, the planets will be more in peace. But if uh, all the broken, like, like this now, some of them only a few kilometers, some of them only a few meters left, and thin as, uh, as, the, as uh, my little finger. Or some only reduced to a point, like I told you, like in New Jersey Center, a point like this, not a line even. We need at least 500 spiritual blessing line to be all completed, I mean connected, two ends connected. Then we'll be safer, okay? Be safe from, from disaster, from sun flare or some whatever phenomena that might attack us, yeah? Yes, Master. Or from supernatural disaster, yeah? But I, I haven't got it yet. I'm, I was trying to lengthen some by meditating intensively in some of the spiritual blessing line, but then something would happen. So I, I'm working in a very difficult situation. Whatever I can do, I do. Okay, I don't know how much longer I can find another spiritual blessing line in order to lengthen, to thicken it. In the last time I found one, I meditate only two weeks, and it's lengthened like hundreds of kilometers more, wow. and thickened so four meters more you know, on all direction, okay? The diameter lengthened, uh, widened until six meters long. 
It wow. used to be only like my, my lower uh, leg. Yes, Master. My ankles, uh, nearby my ankle size. And in two weeks, its length, it was only like 30 meters long. And it lengthened become hundreds of kilometers and thickened by uh, six meters. And the other one is about four meters. I had two. I'm trying to lengthen and thicken two of them, respectively. Everybody in heaven, many are trying to help us, helping me also. But, you know, the negative power is also very strong here, you see? It's their domain. Yeah? If we are not tuned into the divine power of the uh, spiritual domain, then we are under their influence, in their mercy, okay? And if uh, the majority and the mass of people are, are like that, then it's very difficult, difficult to erase and to improve. Okay. Yes, Master. Uh, Master, the next question, it's, it's sort of related to also solar flare. It's a, a bigger version. It's a super solar storm, which uh, NASA has uh, projected that possibly would come to Earth 2012 or uh, later. And it's from the eruption of sunspots, and they say it could wipe out the Earth's power grid and disrupt satellite communication. And they also say that the last big solar storm occurred in 1859. Can Master please provide insight about NASA's prediction? Oh, my God, how can I predict anything? What I mean is could be even worse. It will not wipe out maybe not just electric grid or power or communication. It could wipe out the whole planet. Okay? I understand, Pastor. That's why urgently we make television, huh? What do you think? I do not have as much money as Bill Gates or anybody. <laughs> Less than Bill Gates, I don't have that much money. I put it all out for the Green Master TV and the like. Because it's so urgent, eh? Yes, Master. Not because I wanted to save money, but I was worried we don't even have enough. But I still do it, okay? And then yes, just, just keep earning it, by the way. <laughs> okay? All right. Sorry, that's why you don't have enough as good equipment as I would have wanted you to have. That's why, sorry, you don't have as a good place as I wanted you to have. And uh, I'm sorry that you don't have as enough comfort as I would like you to have as befitting such a grand uh, a journalist people like you are. We're fine, Master. We're fine. Thank you for everything you've given us. Yes, not as good as I would like to have for you, but never mind. You have more spiritual blessing than you can ask for, okay? Yes, Master. Please bear with it, all right? And we work until we cannot anymore, okay, huh? Yes, Master. I'm not complaining that I don't have money. I just wish I had more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but as you know, I'm earning and giving and paying at the same time. Mostly alone, 99.9% .9 alone. And if anybody help at all, then just a little bit, and I don't even know about it. Maybe help, maybe not. Okay? Yes, Master. Because I don't want to take anything from anybody. I could uh, apply with World Bank, but I don't even want that. I don't know where the money comes from. And it's below my dignity to even ask for anything, even though to invest with our own money and get it afterward, but I don't want it, okay? I don't want to rely on anything, because I don't know where the money comes from. For my money, I know, is honest, it's hardworking, it's pure, and it's unconditional. That's why we can use it, okay? Yes, Master. Any other lesser than that, finance is not ideal, okay? Yes. <laughs> I don't even take it from the sidewalk. How would I take it from the World Bank or anything? <laughs> So, sorry if there's not enough comfort for you, not enough food for you, not in a big room or something like that. Hmm? <laughs> okay, yep. Okay, uh, one last question for me, Master. Often we hear in the news of objects in space that almost hit Earth, but luckily there was no impact. Is there a certain force that can divert their course in space? Is there a way for us to increase the chances of these diversions? Yes, if we increase our moral standard, yes, and yes. Uh, meditation practice, yes, and a vegan diet, huh? mm. like attract like, yeah, there's yes. no doubt, 
So, if we are morally high, spiritually uh, elevated, then of course only <laughs> good things will come our way. Otherwise, even I myself alone, I can't do much more to uh, universal law. Okay? I'm yes, doing my best already. Uh, many times I almost lost my life. The reason I'm still alive, because some of you prayed so that I stay, and then my will to live longer also, so that I can help the planet. Oh, who else can do it at this time? Everybody for themselves, mostly. It's okay if they are for themselves, but in the right direction. Morally fit, vegan, compassionate, okay? Yes. Yes, Master. Right. Now, the reason why we have avoided many disaster and comet, because, first of all, we are progressing in spiritual practice as a human race, okay? We're progressing. I don't mean we, we are complete, okay? As you know, the majority of people are not practicing Kwan Yin method or any other meditation. Any other, other meditation also very good. Just have to be compassionate, vegan, to avoid suffering for other beings. And I have to stop the war. Can you imagine if it's you who live in a war zone? Huh? Suddenly your family all gone. Your baby born all gone. Your children gone. Huh? And you lost all your limbs. Or lost your uh, worst things even. Huh? Imagine it's you. But many people do cause this kind of suffering for others, human beings even, not to talk about animals. Imagine you are human, and then some other bigger race, you know, more powerful and more able, come and put you in a cage, toss you around, poke you all over, cut your throat, or just skin you alive. Imagine it's you. Huh? And we do that. We do that to many animals. I have no more tears to cry. Now I don't even feel sorry for animals anymore because okay they suffer they lose their life but they go to heaven all the animals that have been harassed have been molested they will go direct to heaven now i'm so sorry for the humans who do all this and related to this kind of criminal excuse me murderous act okay just to earn money or to have a luxury life or I, I don't know. We could replace all animals' products with, you know, simple synthetic bulk product, you know, natural products. Nowadays we are very advanced. We can do everything. There's no need to kill animals for fur, for warm ourselves. In the old time, maybe in the stone age, perhaps, there's excuse because I don't have anything to wear. Imagine we have everything now. We still want to kill animals. For fur, for look beautiful. How can beautiful when somebody suffer for it? Huh? And we have a lot of food to eat nowadays. We don't have to kill animals to eat. And in such a fashion, while they are living, we talk to them more than hell. Not just killing them to eat, but the way they live their life. My God, how can our conscience ever forgive ourselves? I have no idea how. Are you happy with my answer? Yes, I am, Master. Thank you. We all are. Insight about NASA prediction, I have none. Okay? <laughs> I can only tell you that we have avoided many disasters due to many morally enlightened people. You know, the cost, the more, the better. And we have more and more spiritual practitioners all over the world. Not as many as we want, yeah? Vegans people increasing, increasing all over the world, not as many as we want. But these energy do help that our planet is still hang on in there, that we still can hang on in there. And that is the good news. And more and more people joining in, then uh, we can avoid many disaster, man-made or natural. Okay? Yes, Master. A comet or sun flare or sun spot or sun storm or earthquake, or tsunami, or hurricane, or typhoon, etc., etc. Okay? If we didn't have as many spiritual, morally beautiful people as we have now, we would have had more disaster. Maybe our planet has already been destroyed otherwise. 
Okay, so yeah. lucky we're still here. <laughs> How long? Don't ask me. As the human race, what are they doing to their own home and their own soul? Okay. All right, love. Thank you, Master. Thank you.